you have anything to say after the passing of Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff? Yeah, that one kind of hurt because I spent most of my life hating him, honestly. Not, you know, not him, but the rest yeah, of him. Yeah, right. It right. kind of sucks. You know? Like, and my memories of him were him beating up my favorites. So, you know, it yeah, sucks, right. man. I saw that video two weeks ago of him, his son posted. Yeah. It was tough to watch. I didn't think he was on his deathbed, though. I just Apparently, he had really bad dementia. Yeah, the uh, video was him, at. like, trying to eat a package of salt and or pepper. He didn't know what it was. And, uh, it was hard to watch. Oh, man. man. That sucks. Last time I saw him was a couple of years ago uh, in, you know, public appearances, and he didn't look too bad. So he must have just went downhill really quick. Uh, and people can obviously blame wrestling, which, you know, I didn't help. But at the same time, he played high school and college football. He did bare knuckle fighting back in the day. So, you know, he, he did a lot of contact stuff, man. And... Unfortunately, it catches up with you after a while. And Terry Funk has pretty bad dementia, apparently. According to Tommy Dreamer, that's completely overdone. He's fine. Well, I mean, he does have it, but he's fine. Okay. I saw well, on Dreamer's Twitter that he saw him the other day and said he was fine. Now, don't quote me. I'm not saying he's oh, he's perfect, you know, but Dreamer said he's doing fine. So, well, good. it might it might um, just be early onset dementia and maybe. Uh, yeah, know, but that, yeah, so, uh, yeah, but the Paul Orndorff one, though, I just I felt so bad. It's like, man, most of my memories were just like making him, but... Yeah, so rest in peace, Mr. Wonderful. I posted something on Twitter that day about it, uh, that he passed away. Really sad stuff. Uh, I I have a Jax figure of him. I think you have the Mattel one, right? I do, and now, like, now all of a sudden people are shooting it up in price, which I think is pathetic. I hate when people do that crap. Every single time somebody dies, man. <laughs> I should go to hell time. for that. Yeah, it's pretty effed up. That's that's really sad. But I'm gonna hold on to that thing with uh, for all I got. I'm not letting go with that. I'm sure you are as well. Not looking to sell it. But, no, hell no. I mean, I wanted it really bad to put in the collection. I'm looking at it right now. It's just, it looks great. It's an awesome yeah. fig. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty. It looked pretty good. They gave him that strong ass jaw that he always had. So. And, you know, you want to talk about the guy, if you're, like, thinking in your head, what does a pro wrestler look like? You're going to draw something that kind of looks like Paul Orndorff. Like, that's yep. th that's what I'm thinking. And he was, physically, he was a great foil for Hulk Hogan. And I, I think he looked like the only guy like, that can match him physique-wise, if you go back and look. Like, right. anybody back there. I mean, Macho Man wasn't small. I mean, he wasn't big, but, you know, it wasn't small either. But, yeah, but, well, Hogan was massive. Uh, so, yeah. you know, compared to compared to Hogan, Macho was just, you know, he's close. But, yeah, Orndorff was a great foil. Uh, you know, he was switched good guy to bad guy against him, you know, a couple of times. And it worked every time. I think they just, someone just passed, supposed to they passed 30 years of when he turned on them. Warner turned on Hogan. Yeah. Like it just happened 30 years ago, like a couple weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. And, and back then is when you could get people to want to jump the railing and stab you. Yeah. Right. I'm sure they did back in that day. I think he, held, I think he held that with, uh, with pride and a man so tough, unfortunately, you know, this other guy's passed away too, but a man so tough that with an atrophied arm, countless injuries, and in shower shoes, beat the crap out of Big Van Vader. Yeah. So, tough SOB, man. That's all I can say. This, uh, you know, I forget that epic theme in WCW, by the way. It's bears repeating. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Well, and, you know, he had he had those wonderful segments with, you know, um, Spy, that, I can't remember psychic? his first name. Yeah, something Spivey. I want to say damn, but that wasn't it. Uh, something uh, Spivey of the Psychic Network, whatever. One of the worst pieces of acting you will ever see in the history of pro wrestling. Yeah, I can't remember what. Um, I, I'm no gonna disrespect, but man, it was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the guy's name, like I said, uh, but his exact words were... Gary Spivey? Mr. Wonderful, they let me back here to see you. Gary Spivey of the Psychic Companions Network? 
What are you doing here? I got a vision. I knew you weren't okay. There's something I have to tell you. I, I know you're not okay. You did? Yes. How did you know that? I got a vision. Psychics know. Like, what? It's like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. It, oh, uh, man. Yep, that was, uh, that was something. Well, uh, and, and he also gets a special place in heaven because he had to put over the uh, the renegade at Bash of the Beach, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, him right. and Arnold, like their souls are set for life, man. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, God bless him. <laughs> so, I don't think he did. He made him freaking do that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right. 